I'm here with my Hello Stainless Steel Multi Cooking Pot and I am making some curried eggplant. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So yesterday I made some curried eggplant in this small appliance and it came out so amazing. I thought I would make it again today and film it this time. So I have this long Asian eggplant that I get at H Mart, which is the same store that I bought this multi-cooker at. It's a Korean supermarket. And this one is actually starting to turn. I bought these like a week ago and I haven't used them yet. So um, I need to put them to use. So I'm going to peel this one and then cut it into pieces. So here's the eggplant after it's been peeled and cut into pieces. I cut it into four pieces lengthwise and then I cut it into smaller pieces. Now, I cannot cook this dry in here. I tried that yesterday. I just added coconut oil and tried to cook it without adding water, and it clicks off. It reaches a certain temperature and it clicks off, so we do have to add a little bit of water. But the first thing I did yesterday was add, I don't know, maybe like a tablespoon of coconut oil. And now I'm gonna add some water, I'm not measuring it at all. I basically just want like a half inch of water to cover the bottom of the pot. And then let's turn the heat up to high just to get it cooking quicker. So as that heats up, this is the curry powder I'll be using. This is my favorite curry powder. This is Natco Madras curry powder. I get this at World Market. And I also have the hot Madras curry powder. So today I think I'm gonna put in Mostly the regular with a little bit of the hot curry powder. You could use your favorite curry powder, whatever curry powder you like. It's only been a few minutes and the water is already boiling on the bottom. Can you see? It's, it's a rolling boil. So I'm just going to stir it together to make sure that the coconut oil is mixed in. This should cook pretty fast. Yesterday I was surprised at how fast this cooked and I did not cut the eggplant into such small pieces. I just sliced it and I think it's better in the smaller pieces. So now I'm gonna add my curry powder. Once again, I'm not measuring it. You can add as much or as little as you like. Stirring it together. So I'm going to lower the heat to low and I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it cook a few more minutes. Then the eggplant should be nice and soft. I have some leftover cooked white beans from when I made dried beans in this Hello Pot the other day. And that's what I'm going to be eating the curried eggplant with. Obviously you can eat it with rice or pasta or bread or whatever you like. So the eggplant is simmering on low and I actually took the cover off because I do want a lot of the liquid to evaporate. I'd like it to cook down so it'll cook down better without the cover. I did not add these yesterday but today I feel like I want to add some raisins. So I'm going to add, I don't know, maybe like a quarter cup of raisins or like a handful, maybe two tablespoons. Not a whole lot, just a, a few. The raisins will give it a little bit of sweetness. And these are my favorite store-bought raisins. These are Trader Joe's Organic Thompson Seedless Raisins. They are the best raisins that I've ever had that I've been able to purchase in a store. The only raisins that I've had that are better than these are the Black Maru raisins that I got from Imperfect Foods. But other than that, these are the best. And I get them at Trader Joe's. So as this continues to simmer, I'm also going to add some black pepper and a pinch of sea salt. It's been a few more minutes, we're just about done. And what I did was I took about a half of a teaspoon of cornstarch and I mixed in some water to make a slurry. And I'm gonna add this to the eggplant and it will thicken it up. It'll make like a nice thick sauce. So all I'm doing is adding it in and stirring it around and that, that'll add a nice thickness to the sauce. And yesterday I added just a little bit of honey, 
maybe like a teaspoon of honey and a little bit of sesame oil. Maybe like half a teaspoon of sesame oil, just to give it a little bit of flavor. So now let's taste this. So good. Now I'm just gonna let it reduce for another minute or two. So I think that looks good. Let's turn the heat down, let's unplug it. Here's the curried egg plant on top of the beans. Looks really good. So I did not heat up the beans, they're straight out of the fridge, but when I put the really hot eggplant on top of it, it does warm them up nicely. So now let's give them a taste. The eggplant is nice and soft and the curry powder is like a combination of sweet and spicy. One thing that struck me yesterday when I ate this was it really kind of tasted like butterscotch, if that makes any sense. It was like the combination of flavors was just so nice together. I think by adding the raisins and a little bit of honey, it kind of accentuates any sweetness in the curry powder and the eggplant. And then of course the combination of the coconut oil, the sesame oil, it just all really works so well together. And I'm really going to enjoy this for my lunch today. So that's how you can make a quick curried eggplant in this Hello Stainless Steel multi-cooker. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.